So what is going on dammers, my name is Mehul and welcome to your day 2 of making code dam and in this video I'm gonna show you what the community has provided me for day 2 and what I have done for the code dam as a platform. So let's get into it. So if we take a look at day 2, um, we do not have any pull requests from you guys which is sad and for the issues you can see that I have opened a couple of them today so you might want to take a look into it and basically if we take a look inside the commits what we have for today is i worked on some middlewares and types in typescript so what essentially i have done for the middlewares for now is just included this middleware right here which prevents authenticated users from visiting the login and registration page and if you think about it, it actually makes sense because a registered, not really a registered, but an authenticated user should not visit, should not be able to see at least the login and registration page. So that's that for that. And the next thing we have is some error handling in registration and login, which is basically just some minimal kind of error and validation for usernames and passwords and all that stuff okay um, after that what we have is adding the types for different kind of modules we have for our project and you can see right now for this debug module I'm including this X debug but the error which happens to appear which you saw just a couple of seconds away happens because TypeScript does not know what this X debug looks like so let's just go ahead and install it type by writing npm install and add the rate types followed by the module name which is debug in this case and hit enter once i hit enter after adding a save flag what would happen is that um, typescript would gather data about this debug module and this error would be gone so there you go um, we now have we can see now the error the warning is gone and TypeScript now is aware of the types which this debug module contains, its properties, methods, and all that stuff. So that's that. And then what we have is just um, some merges and fixing some TypeScript issues as well, which finally makes me like TypeScript again. Now um, we have fixed uh, the TypeScript thing with the tsconfig file which contains the target as ES8 because hey it's running on server so we do not need to worry a lot about that. And basically yeah that's it majorly for this one just try to contribute on the issues I would highly recommend you to if you are trying to get into open source this is the um, easiest way I can think of as of now it's just an easy project you can contribute to the issues I'm um, opening are not too um, you know difficult to handle so yeah that's it for this day two and I'll see you then real quick in day three